Good evening. This is the Duke of Fremont Street in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the United States of America. Today is Saturday, December 10th, 2022. Before beginning my short video, I would like to uh, thank you for stopping by and uh, please allow me to drink a toast to you. Salute. Mm. Magnificent. Well, the precious metals market is currently closed all over the world. And uh, we won't open again until tomorrow afternoon in the uh, Far East. So, uh, until that time, I, I anticipate that uh, we're going to have a very good week uh, for the metals coming up, and time will tell. Yesterday, both gold and silver closed up fairly, fairly nice. Uh, I was going to say that uh, we had a pretty good week on the metals, and normally Fridays aren't that good, but uh, this past Friday, yesterday, we did quite well. Gold closed at $1,797.90 bid by $1,798.90 uh, $1, ask, up $8.40 or 0.47%. Silver closed up at uh, 27, or pardon me, $23.46 cents bid by $23.56 ask up a very nice 41 cents or 1.76%. Well, we're almost through 2022. The year has gone by quickly. And uh, I would like to talk about what's going on in the last six months in the precious metals market. Uh, both gold and silver are up substantially over the last six months. So people talk about inflation and the, the value of their, uh, 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 the dollar going down and so forth. But let's talk about the metals uh, this evening and, and what's happened to them in the last six months. In, uh, in the last six months, Gold reached a low of $1,622.40. As mentioned a moment ago, gold closed at $1,797.90 by $1,798.90 uh, uh, ask. Let's go with the current uh, bid of $1,797.90 and uh, 90 cents uh, versus the $1,622.40 low reached within the last six months. The way we do that, if you take the $1,797.90 and divide it by $1,622.40, this equals a gain of 10.8% in the last six months. So let me reiterate, within the last six months, gold is trading up 10.8% from its low. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. In the next six months, if gold uh, performs identically to what it has done in the last six months, it would gain another 10.8%, which would be a, uh, 21.6% gain in a calendar year. So 21.6% is a, a tidy little sum. I don't care what inflation is, you've overcome that and more. Uh, of course, this is hypothetical, but uh, in this chaotic world we live in today, full of danger, uncertainty, insanity, I believe it is quite possible for gold to achieve this, uh, this number. In fact, I'm betting on it. Let's move uh, over to, uh, to silver and see what silver's up to. 
the low silver price in the last six months was $17.81, which was set back in late August, early September, somewhere in there of this year. We closed on Friday at $23.46, which is a six month high. So that's, that's a nice Friday for you, isn't it? Okay, so if we closed at $23.46 on Friday, and we divide that by the low number of the last six months, a $17.81, we, uh, we had a gain of 31.8% in the six month period. 31.8% gain in silver in six months. If the silver market uh, performed identically in the next six months, uh, the annual gain of the price of silver would be over 63%. Think about that for a minute. In one year, silver could gain 63%. Uh, in my opinion, there is no reason for silver not to repeat what it's done in the last six months, in the next six months. Personally, I believe the next six months, silver will even outperform the last six months gain of 31.8%. That's a bold prediction, but I base my prediction on a number of factors. Um, let me um, go through just a few of them. Currently, the real estate market is tumbling. With billions of dollars of equity uh, already disappeared uh, in front of our very eyes, uh, the future doesn't look good for the real estate. With the rising interest rates, um, the prices are bound uh, to drop. They'll have to if, if a person wants to sell their home. The stock market is tremendously overvalued, in my opinion, and heading towards uh, a, a possible catastrophe. Um, with the FTX collapse, the whole crypto market is uh, teetering and perhaps could implode. I don't think I have to mention the supply chain is an absolute mess. Um, we all see this across the entire globe. So uh, we'll see how this uh, plays out. I don't think it's going to be fixed for a long, long time. Energy is in short supply everywhere. Uh, look at Europe. I even look here in the States, our prices are going up daily. Uh, this is going to create uh, massive financial problems for businesses and uh, for individuals. Inflation, as you know, is, is uh, out of control. And uh, this endless currency printing and the devaluation of the dollar is contributing um, a lot to this, uh, to this fact. Uh, most importantly, civil unrest, both domestically and internationally. Um, civil unrest is growing. And that's troubling. Um, without civil order, you can't have a, um, a civilization. It will collapse. Uh, meanwhile, uh, as you know, the invasion of our southern frontier not only threatens our national security, it threatens our actual sovereignty as a nation. I could go on and on. Uh, and evil, but, but um, there's no reason to. We all live on the same planet. We're aware of uh, many of the pressing problems that are taking place as we, as we speak. Even in the medieval dark ages, uh, back in uh, uh, the Middle Ages, gold and silver never lost their luster or value. And that's whether you were a peasant or whether you were a serf or whether you were a nobleman. As what we approach what I have called the new dark ages era, I predict the precious metals will be of vital importance, not only to survive, but to thrive. Time will tell. Uh, we don't know how this is all gonna end up, but I'm gonna hedge my bet with the, uh, with the precious metals. As you know, I've even uh, uh, minted uh, duke ducats with my image on them. So I, I believe in my mantra and uh, I certainly hope that you, uh, you uh, agree. 
the tangibles will be um, much more important as time goes by. And, uh, and once again, as time goes by, we'll see what develops. Well, anyway, I've taken enough of your time this evening. I want to thank you all for stopping by. I want to thank you for your continued support. And uh, I hope to see you soon. To your health, to your wealth, and to your happiness. Salute day. Don't hesitate to call me or email me at any time. And if you happen to be visiting my village of Las Vegas, hopefully we can get together and we can do a little horse trading. In the meantime, so long.